Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Station Tutorials. Today I have a quick one for you today. It's how to insert lens flares into your footage by tracking lights. You may have seen this effect overused in a lot of hip hop or rap music videos nowadays. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you guys today and show you how they do this. Alright, in After Effects here you can see our clip which is just a dolly from left to right with that light in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this shot, track this light, and in order to do that, you know, you could do that in After Effects here, but it wouldn't track that well because After Effects is a pixel tracker. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and bring it into Mocha. Alright, once we load this into Mocha here, what we're going to do is we're going to take our X-Spline Layer tool and just click around our light area. It's okay if it goes off frame and then you right click to close the track out. Let's make sure we click perspective and then we will track forward here. And I'm going to speed this up for the uh, purposes of the tutorial and watch as her hand even goes over the track holds pretty well there over the top and even as it goes out of frame. So let's export our tracking data and we're going to want our transform data and let's copy that to the clipboard. Back in After Effects, let's create a new null object. Let's make sure that null is a 3D layer, and we are going to paste our tracking data onto our null. And now when we drop this down, you can see all of our tracking data has been applied to this null. Let's just change the name of this and call this track, and then let's create a new solid, and we're going to call this flare, make comp size, hit OK, and we're going to drop our optical flares on here, and make this 3D and put it over transparent. This can also be done with the standard lens flare that comes stock with After Effects. And let's bring this down under our track. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to alt-click on the XY position of our flare and pick whip that to the position of our track. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Z position of the flare. Alt-click on that and then pick whip that to the Z of the track. And now you can see our flare is directly positioned over our light. And so this doesn't look so gross. Let's change this to an additive layer so this blends better. And maybe screen will work better. Yeah, that looks even better. Now you can see that our flare is sticking perfectly to our light even as her hand passes in front of it. Which a normal After Effects tracker would get lost when anything passed in front of a plane if it was at all able to track that surface to begin with. And then if you want you can even take our center position of our flare and kind of position that for a different stylistic look. Maybe we want this over the top of Shea here. And then we can also adjust the intensity or type of flare. Um, maybe we want to get crazy and do something like this or this. Uh, let's try this one here and see how this looks. Um, uh, maybe that. Let's go all out. Let's put that on there. Okay, now you can see we're getting really blown out, so let's bring down our brightness here. Uh, maybe about 50 or 60, 50 will work. And yeah, now we have a stylized look, an additive natural looking lens flare to our frame. And guys, don't forget to subscribe so you can have these tutorials sent to your inbox for free. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching Station Tutorials.